in this video i am going to show you how you can install and run Debbie, which is a new open source self-hosted ai coding assistant one of the selling feature or i should i say the hall of mark feature of Debbie is that it is a free alternative of github copilot so with Debbie which is positioning itself as a practical alternative to GitHub Copilot, you can effortlessly leverage any coding LLM and ensuring flexibility and compatibility in code completion tasks. You can use various major coding LLMs like Code Llama, Star Coder, Code Gen, and various other, where you can have even smallish models like which are under 400 million or even go with the larger one with 1 billion and above you can also use it with cpu of course with the smaller models and with the gpu in front with the larger models another cool thing about tabby is that it is quite efficient and fast it is powered by rust so tabby is able to deliver fast coding experiences and achieves code completion in under a second with adaptive caching also Tabby optimizes the entire stack from IDE extensions to model serving. This enables fast code completion and effective prompts in a real world application. Now, with Tabby, as I mentioned, you can do a lot of things. And similarly, you have various options in order to install Tabby. And let me show you how you can install Tabby on Ubuntu. So, this is an EC2 instance in AWS. And let me quickly show you the version of this Ubuntu. Let me. So this is my Ubuntu terminal, and you can see that I am running Ubuntu 2020 uh, 22.04, and the code name is Jemmy. Another prerequisite is that you should have a Docker installed. So I just installed Docker. Command is very simple. You can use snap to install the Docker. If you don't know, let me know in the comments, and I will paste the command, which are two or three commands to install Docker. I have already installed the latest version of Docker, as you can see. Now, in order to install Tebby, all you need to do is to run the docker command. And let me also give you the docker command. So this is the docker command I'm going to use. So as you can see, I'm simply running the familiar docker run command with port mapping and then giving it the verbose option. And then I'm asking it to serve this model, which is a simple 1 billion center coder model with Tebby ML. So let me run it. So you can see that it is pulling the latest image. Let's wait for it to finish. Shouldn't take too long. After downloading the layers of image, now it is downloading the model, which we have specified in our case, as you saw in the command here, specified center coder, and it is around two gig of size. So let's wait for it to finish. Every installation is complete and you can see on your screen that now it is running on my local system on port 8080. So if you're running EC2 instance in AWS or VM in any other cloud, make sure that this port is open in the security group or whatever the relevant firewall is. And let me show you how it looks like in the browser. So when I access it in the browser, this is a swagger page for this Debbie server. Looks quite good. So grab your URL endpoint, and that is your API endpoint in this case, as you can see here. If you click on server, this is going to show you either it is the locally a cloud hosted playground, which you can readily access. And this is our local host, which I'm running at the moment. And then there are various API calls which you can make for completion, event, and help. And there is also the schema documentation as per Swagger standard. Now, in order to use it, you either can use it the cloud hosted, which uh, I just showed you this one on this URL, or if you are using your local server and you want to keep it private, 
you can install the extension for the popular code editors like VS Code, IntelliJ, or even for the Vim. Now, if you want to do in VS Code, which I normally prefer, you need to open your VS Code like this. On the left hand side, click on this extension and then type tabby here. And you can see that we have this tabby. Click on install. This it is saying it is installing, which is correct. And then let's wait, and then we need to provide the, the API endpoint. <clears throat> so click on settings or this um, wheel icon here on manage, and then we can simply. Uh, And then in the extension settings, you will see that this is the API endpoint which we need to go give. And then I'm just simply giving it this one. Now, one recommendation is that you should be using HTTPS, not HTTP. So it might get blocked on a firewall. So make sure that when you are running the server, you install a certificate and make it HTTPS with a proper domain name. But I'll go with it. That is just a, a test server. And then it's saved here, which is great. Now go back in the tabby. And now from here, you can start using it. There is also an online demo if you want to look. Let me also quickly show you. This is a playground experience. And this will be the same thing which you will get in your own VS Code or wherever you are using. So if you click enter here and start typing something, or you can see that it is giving us some of the uh, coding suggestion there you go so pretty cool i would say and the best thing as i mentioned in the start of video is about the speed it gives you the suggestions in milliseconds which is great and this is clearly a difference between the other ai coding assistants so i would suggest that if you're looking for an open source free alternate of that github copilot this is the best in the breed at the moment out there so do try it out and let me know how you go. If you face any issues, please paste them in the comments. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.